Hey guys, with today's War Thunder video, the goal of this video is to make up for last week's video where I went into Naval after not having played for quite some time. I made several mistakes and your comments were very helpful in pointing out my mistakes and how to correct them. So a couple of things, um, a lot of comments saying why I wasn't repairing my ship. Uh, there's two reasons for this. One, for the past ever, and it still is a thing in ground, I don't know why it's not working in aviation now, um, when your vehicle gets damaged, you see the prompt pop up, you know, hold F to repair your vehicle, and then, you know, you start repairing it for however long it takes for that module to get repaired. For some reason, apparently, I don't know if it was recently, or maybe, again, in the long break I took from playing naval, um, they turned off that tooltip in naval. I don't know when, but yeah, so that just wasn't popping up, and I wasn't even thinking about it. Uh, the second thing, in naval, it's not always the best idea to instantly repair your vehicle anyway, because what happens a lot of times is that the crew and the AA guns uh, that they were manning are now in shambles on the deck. So what happens is crew from within the ship gets reassigned to fix the AA guns and then placed on the AA guns, and then you eat one or two salvos from an Atlanta or some light cruiser, and they're all dead again. And once your crew count reaches 0%, you're done either way. So those are the two reasons why we're, I wasn't really doing that. Um, again, in looking back on the video, it's like, oh yeah, dummy. You, you could have fixed this, that. The engine's halfway broken. The propeller's fallen off and, st and stuff. So yeah, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing, the aiming. So in the last week's video, I commented, you know, I'm having to aim down at the waterline. Not, in, not even at the waterline. At the water that's two kilometers in front of my ship to shoot at a ship that's ten kilometers away. Turns out, and I didn't know this, because, again, I haven't played naval in a while. With the um, firing computers, you can adjust your distance with the mouse wheel. Well, you can adjust it with the mouse wheel if you change the setting. Normally, the mouse wheel only controls zoom. So, originally, I read a couple of comments saying you can you know, change the distance with, with the mouse wheel. And I went into a training room and tried it out. And what I was doing, I was just zooming out to where I didn't have to aim at the water. And I was like, oh, okay, I kind of see what's going on here. Here. But then I um, went back again and read some more comments and changed the settings to where that's a thing now. And yes, it, it's a lot easier to shoot when you can adjust your distance with the mouse wheel. I don't get why this isn't the default setting in Naval because this made the game instantly easier to just participate in and actually get shots in consistently. So... Yeah, that, that, that's a War Thunder thing. There's lots of times when you unlock a new vehicle, you start getting to the higher tier vehicles, the more complicated things like the radar and planes. You have to go in and set that up all for yourself because the game doesn't really do a good job of it. I don't know why, but yeah, that happened. So this is me trying to make up for last week's video and giving Naval a proper shot now that I've got the basics down and I know what the hell I am doing. So apologies, War Thunder fans. Here's me taking a proper shot at Naval now. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, welcome back to War Thunder Naval. After intro, Mountbatten talked to you there for a second. So yes, we've made a lot of changes to our uh, control setups, and oh my god, um, this, that's another thing about War Thunder. Um, again, we're, we're giving Naval a fair, a fair shake this time. Now that I know what the hell I'm doing, um, but there's so many times that you have to like change your control setups and stuff to um, the optimum configuration. Like, now we can, we, look, we can adjust the distance now, and we're already getting smoked. Um, that looks whereabouts correct-ish. Um, like, a lot, oh, I'm bumping into Moffat here. A lot of times you have to change the uh, controls to the, to the optimum, look, off the bat already. Optimum configuration, and they're just not in that configuration um, from the get-go. Uh, such helpful information in the comments last time. So we are... Tra Again, just one simple thing. One simple thing. Do I have to aim, you know, at the water uh, 10 feet in front of my ship? And again, I, I thought that there, there was no way that could, that was the way that it was being played, but I didn't know, because I, I take very long breaks between playing this game mode um, and such. And I'm being shot by my own teammate now. Yes, much better, much better now. We can actually hit stuff. 
it's when I get turned around because I'm seeming to get a lot of attention from this destroyer flotilla that we are uh, currently engaged with. That one went a little bit long. Crank it down a bit. But also, what, what is pretty weird is that the, um, the AI gunners didn't seem to do anything last time. Um, like you guys saw in the last video, that's actually pretty painful to watch now that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, they were just, I don't know, I guess they were probably, a lot of them probably dead, honestly. Um, but, yeah, that, that, that was a little weird. They worked in the, I just came out of a training room to, uh, well I guess it's technically a test room. And, uh, that hit the other destroyer? Uh, technically a test room because it's War Thunder. Um, and they worked fine just a few seconds ago, so we'll see what happens this time. Okay, we took out his torpedo tube, and we killed 15 more of his crew this time. Yeah, and the, the repair thing, too. Um, that, that's weird. I don't know why the tooltip got turned off in naval. Because I, I remember it being a thing for quite some time before um, in Naval, but I, I guess they turned the tooltip off. Um, it might have to do with... Because when you do repair your... Um, we poked his bow. We killed the one guy mining the forecastle. When you um, do repair, it does replenish the, the crew that's been killed on the AA guns. And the crew is essentially the ship's HP. So when that goes down, uh, your, your ship's done for, regardless of, how, of if it's still in, you know, functioning condition or not. So they might have disabled it because people were, were you know, repairing when, like, one AA mount got damaged. And, whoop, that was close. And, um, you know, you lose, you know, four guys on one AA mount, so that's uh, pretty detrimental to your ship's long-term survivability in uh in game so i don't know but we pay more attention attention to that at the moment but right now just one secondary gun's broken that's fine um well see now apparently something's automatically repairing i, di I did not touch anything oh i'm leaving the i'm doing the war thunder version of border humping it's a lot more enjoyable when aiming's not very oh when you understand how to aim. Who knew? Uh, let's try that. That looks pretty okay. We keep breaking his guns. And he keeps fixing them. I think the island's gonna... Yep. Oh, <laughs> we just killed all his officers. And started a fire. We're slowly killing his ship one crew member at a time. You are very low in the water, sir. No, you're not. Try some close range AP. I don't know. It's not one of warships, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, we've got a kill assist on him. Um, this guy, how you doing, bud? And we destroyed his compartment. A little bit too low there. Guys, engine room. I guess we'll repair the secondaries now. Why not? He's going to beach here in a second, too. Uh, the AA guys are back up at it again. Oh, no, they're firing at a plane. Go, AA! Kill the plane! Please, I don't want to get bombed. Someone is being very brave. Let's see, look at that. I, I repaired some of the mounts, and then the guys got murdered, and now we're down to 68% crew instead. I think we're at like 70, 80 before. 
Oh yeah, you, you, hell no, go away. Oh, you're gonna eat crap there. Nope, you're coming right at me. Nope. Okay, he's dead, fellas. <laughs> you can calm down. <laughs> Please. Nope. Again, smoke funnels. I'm great at murdering smoke funnels. I'm just better now because I can actually hit what I'm shooting at. It's going backwards. So let's see if our lead's going to update here. Yeah. But we're still going forward. So that, that's the thing about this game. You have to compensate for the movements of your ship, too. Uh, and that's where the really tricky part comes in. Um, in World of Warships, the game does that automatically for you when you lock onto them by you clicking X or by just locking onto them automatically. So he's not really moving, so... Yeah, now he's moving forward, yep. Yeah. And you get you you, you kind of have to get super tunnel vision to <laughs> to take everything into into consideration. Now we're both completely stopped, and I do have the bigger. I'm trying to see if I can. Where's this magazine at? A little bit further forward than that. So let's see if we can nick his magazine. We should be able to. The Omahals aren't that well armored. I got a light cruiser on my side. Over, Well, not on my side, in front of me. Ooh, yes! We got a Bagdet. For, I think, some stowed ammo. So this is the annoying thing, too. So now, now like, his, his ship model has disappeared in the smoke. Uh, which normally doesn't happen in War Thunder. The vehicle's still there. It's still rendered. But it's not in Naval. It, it disappears. See? Like, now it's back. Which I find hilarious. That's one thing War Thunder players like to tout about over World of Warships is that they're, uh, they don't have to rely on such arcadey mechanics. But here we are. I'm coming for that 5-inch gun, on the, I don't know what our caliber is, that turret on the front. I'm trying to get that mag magazine to detonate. Yes, I do understand. So we got some more ready-use ammo detonated. What is it? Is that like the... Am I detonating like his AA gun ammo? That looked like that hit one of the AA guns. It's like he's sinking. I mean, we put enough holes in this guy that... Oh, we got him. Alright, cool. We just simply dismantled his ship piece by piece. What is shooting me? There's some DD or like an Atlanta shooting me. That the sign like a wait. Oh yeah, it is an Atlanta. Look at that. Say we totally hit that guy. I like little uh little uh torpedo boat. Thought we got sunk there for a second when the camera f went to follow the shells. We got his ammo elevator. We hit his ammo elevator, but they apparently did not detonate any ammo. Very sad. Very sad. I'm not hitting repair because my dudes are not going to die trying to man an AA gun. Yeah, but do, do, do go fix the pumps, though, please. <laughs> We're winning. We are? Okay. Uh, well, he's found us. Oh, there he is. So many noises! Loud noises! Ah. Uh, 
Oh, we got him. Did we get him or did we get the... No, we got the Cleveland. Good. Cool. Have enough for a bomber. All right. I thought we got the little uh, the little PT button, but no, I think the DD got him. But where's my plane? Oh, there it is. What do we have? We have... Bomb. Okay. It's like a pretty big ship. I don't think it's a battleship. We're pretty much like perfectly aligned with him. Yeah, look at the little PT boat. He's launching rockets. That's pretty cool. We're also up at 2,000. We're going to get a little bit higher. So the AA doesn't get too spicy. Up the AA be getting spicy already. Alright. We're at full throttle. I don't care. These engines are going to get blasted in a second anyway. That's fine. I just want to bomb this ship. That is a... No, that is a battleship. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. The AA is insane in this game. A PT boat got me. Yeah, that was a little bit... No, we hit him. Okay. Oh, dang. We got a good hit, too. Okay, okay, okay. We got his fire control director and I think one of his secondary guns. We got like 700... Killed 700 of his dudes just then. Oh, this poor man. This poor man. Look at the amount of shells coming in at this man. He's still not dead after all that punishment he's taken. Oh, we got him. Oh, we detonated. We finally got a magazine debt. I'm firing my secondaries. I'm trying to see where they're going at. And we need to be aiming like way over here, apparently. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. The, the lead indicator seems to be a little funky. I don't know if there's a way to adjust that. There probably is, but... That's the good thing about secondary shells. They're nice range finders. Or nice indicator shots. This Moffat's just going right in there. And just, yep. Scrape the barnacles off. No big deal. Yearly maintenance that your heavy cruiser always needs. Make sure you scrape the barnacles off of your hipper class heavy cruiser every year. Get you about four more knots out of it. DD out of nowhere. Oh, did you see the plane just falling out the sky? The fire control computer does not seem to be able to do well at... There we go, at close range. Because it's telling me to aim, like, way over here when the ship's heading in the opposite direction. That That's... I don't know. That's weird. I guess when it, I guess when it does come to those close-range shots, I mean, you, you can clearly see where your shells are going a lot easier. So you can better make um, eyeball adjustments. Guys, boilers. Oh, I need to get another island cucking me here. Sir, let's not do this, sir. Oh, he's got a couple of big bombs strapped to his plane. Oh, that's a Corsair. That can haul whatever it wants. Come on, AA. He's doing some of that pilot shit. What's his plan here? Going to turn hard over into me, or what? Who's he going for, even? Alright, cool. I don't know who he was going for. I thought he was going to turn uh, Bao Wan to face me. Look, it's in Atlanta. Can we kill this Atlanta? Ooh, but that one looked like it was going mighty close to his, uh, his, uh, magazine there.
So that yeah, that that looks good. Go main guns. Poke him in his in his uh, magazine. That's gotta be getting uncomfortably close to his uh Oh, Yubari, uh what you doing there, bud? Oh, killing him apparently. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, removes your engine. Oh, come on. Alright, so playing Nabal after understanding the mechanics and making a couple changes in, in settings, turns out it's much less mi uh, miserable. It's still very, very slow paced, although, again, now that it, I can consistently actually hit, hit crap, it is a bit better. Um, it's, it's a lot better, actually. However, most of my problems with Naval and with War Thunder in general aren't really the mechanics, because again, I like that it's more simulator y, it's more. Uh, lean toward that more realistic side, so yeah, if you want that experience, it probably is a good experience for that. Um, I'm, I still don't agree 100% with how the tech tree flows and stuff. I know some said that, yeah, it doesn't make sense if you look at it from like, you know, a uh, wargaming point of view, the way they have their tech trees, but with the nature of how it, how a uh, gameplay evolves at higher tier, it does make sense, because at higher tier, you know, it's a bunch of big capital ships basically one-shotting anything that isn't another big capital ship, so even if you had like, you know, a uh, a high tier destroyer, you're probably just going to get clapped anyway, um, because again, you know, the it just goes into battleships, and um, I don't know how they're going to do when they get in like other battleships, like when they start with the um, like the Bismarck, the Iowas, and stuff like that. I don't know where those things are going to go at. I mean, we're trying to get the Sean Horse right now, which is a bit of a grind, um, but yes, it's more enjoyable when you know how to play it. Um, I can appreciate it a lot more for what it is now, but I still prefer the World of Warships gameplay style. I prefer the more arcade side of things. I prefer how the battles do flow a bit quicker, although they are going a little bit too quick um, nowadays. But it's not bad. It's not bad, in my opinion. Um, it is frustrating that you kind of have to you know, go in settings and change some things around to make it more enjoyable and make the aiming... Um, a little bit more intuitive and makes sense. I don't know why that's just not the default to where you can adjust your range either with the, the mouse wheel or some other way, but odd decision, that just seems to be a War Thunder thing because again, like I was talking about at the beginning of the video, how a lot of, lots of times with vehicles, you have to go in the settings and set, set everything up yourself because the game doesn't do that for you. Um, but again, more simulator-y sim simulator type games are like that anyway. So that's my look again at Worth Under Naval now that I know what the hell I'm doing. So guys, let me know your two cents down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful Sunday and have a wonderful week. And hope to see you guys in the next one.